So like, it's just, it's really, it's so nice how easy this of Evie. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty sick. Hi. Hey. 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 Hi, my name is Kelsey. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I also go by Kelsey Kishi Draws. And I just got some new tech that I'm playing around with. Last month, August, was the best financial month I've ever had. So I let myself splurge on a DJI Osmo. The tiny vlog camera everyone and their mom is using right now. So I'm like, I don't know, I'm super excited. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting over a cold. I'm a little congested, but like, I got the fancy mic. And look at this. Ooh. 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 It follows me everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, I just needed to test this out and figure out what some settings, but um, I will be using this for today's vlog and moving forward. Bear with me. No, I'm so dumb when it comes to like technology like this. That's part of the reason why I've been vlogging with my phone for so long, but you know, now that we're monetized, we're gonna level things up. Sorry, it's <laughs> so fun to me. <laughs> I wanna like start running, but I don't have that much space. Okay, anyways, moving on. Hi, hello, we're here. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> In normal Kelsey Kishi Draws fashion, it is a chaotic start. Surprisingly, I don't think I forgot anything. I think anything I left behind was like intentional. Like I didn't bring all of my t-shirts and I think that's it. Like there's some shirts, whatever. Otherwise everything I needed to bring, I actually brought. But we were running late. I mean, what else is new? So that was fun. We literally just finished setting up right at like, I think it was like 10.59. But there's some other things going on. Um, Anime Los Angeles application signups were literally at 10 o'clock. So I had to, hi, hello. So I had to like stop mid setup just to sign up for that. Luckily I got in. So I will see you LA in January at the Long Beach Convention Center. Yeah, I'm just impressed with myself that like I didn't forget anything. This is literally the first clip. So I'm gonna like try to get some good B-roll for you guys. Show you what my table looks like. Where you basically just did the same exact thing we did for Comic-Con Honolulu, except just less um, t-shirts and more posters. I'm trying to put out more posters inside to make up for the lack of t-shirts. It's hot in here, just like it was for the spring show, but I'm hoping that this will be better than the spring show in terms of sales. We shall see. Something else new that's happening. We got a new camera. Ayo. She's looking good so far, with the exception of my sweaty, messy hair. Um, I will make this prettier in a second. We are feeling less than fantastic today because last night I actually stayed up till 2 a.m. because we were at an Elevation Worship concert. So that was fun. It was worth it. it. I would do it all over again, but I literally got like four hours of sleep. So if I seem, oh my gosh, that baby is so cute. A little delusional. It's because I am literally a zombie at the moment. I will check in when there's more things worth checking in about. Also, if I'm looking at the thumbnail, forgive me, I'll try to make eye contact with you guys instead of like with myself. <laughs> Here's a little behind. We've got obviously like our grid cubes and stuff, but this is all of it. Once we go over here, now she's just kind of empty. Cause like I, I'm sold out of so many things. I didn't even want to bother like bringing whatever little sizes I did have. And then it is an eight foot table. So there's like a ton of space under the table over here. And then lots of space back here too. Posters, um, extra boxes, what, you know. I'm excited to be here. The spring show was like fine. The fall show a year ago was like the good one. So I'm hoping maybe we can recreate that. That being said, I do know HypeCon is happening at the same time, which is another, I'm on the smallish side, single day convention, more like in East Bay, like Bay Area. So I'm wondering if it'll compete with each other. I don't know. I feel like Lodi Comic Con has a really loyal following. So I expect today to be at worst decent, at best, like, you know, a nice solid single day event. We'll see. Oh, the Power Ranger. <laughs> Part of Mazzy just came by and dropped off this because it's stupid hot in here. This is so cute. Mazzy, you're the best. I love you. So something cool I'm doing today is I've got some label stickers with my QR code on it. It's the same exact QR code that you'll find on the back of my business cards but it's in sticker form. And I'm gonna be slapping these onto the bags. This way you're not gonna forget me. Guys, this was a gift from Munbin. They gave me a bunch of labels. I use this with their label printer. And the awesome thing is that you can make these QR codes in their app, which I think is amazing because typically I've had to do it like in Canva or you just find like a random third party. But hi. The QR code can be made inside the Munbin app that you download so that you can print directly from your computer 
onto these things, it's fantastic. Typically you need to find like a third party to make a QR code or use Canva or something like that, but I was able to do this directly in the app and then print straight onto it. It's a very easy and simple process, highly recommend. Um, especially I know some of us like to be stingy with our business cards, not me, but I like to advertise as much as possible, put my QR code on everything. So this is one fantastic way to do it and I've just been slapping it on the bags. So definitely something to consider. I've got links in my description box if you're interested in purchasing some Munbin products for yourself. Four six seven seven. Sorry, I gotta think hard. Hard. <laughs> Four six Con. It's looking pretty pretty good. It's hot. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking hot, but we got the wrestling going on under the pavilion. You can see lots of people having fun, shopping. Something I love about this convention is they got food trucks. We don't have to deal with sad, pathetic con food, and they do have um, mini donuts. I don't know if you can see in the background. I'm gonna get some. I'm always so surprised at how busy this convention is. I mean, right now there's like no one. I found an emptier spot, but like there's so many people. This is such a fun event. If you're a local to the Lodi area, I'm excited for today. We're already off to a pretty good start with sales, and it's nice and busy in there. It's just a little warm. I'm going to go around the rest of the convention because I've never explored this event. Every time I come with my dad, um, I'm glued to my table. So let's go see what else we can find. My gosh, it is busy in here. Also, it's so much cooler in here. What the heck? Maybe I should apply to be in the exhibitor hall simply for the air conditioning. <laughs> wow, what a fun background though. This is such a fun convention. Oh my gosh. I think I'm enjoying the camera. I think this is going well. Let's see what else we can find. Highly recommend Lodi Comic Con to locals as an attendee or even as a seller. This is a really great local small convention. I know a lot of people wonder if local small single day conventions are worth it. It honestly depends. They're not all equal, but this one is, I think that was for me. <laughs> this one is definitely one of them. I think it's worth it if you're local to the area. I think we're gonna head back now. I'm debating whether or not I should get those donuts. I probably will, to be honest. Yay, thank you! I'm so excited! While I was off playing, Cody said that he met a customer who found us because, I don't know if I've mentioned this on here before, but a food truck, I sold two ones. They took my bag, they cut out the picture, and they put it in their napkin holder. And so this guy saw the napkin holder at the food truck in San Jose, and he's been looking for us ever since. So, shout out to that food truck in San Jose. You're doing the Lord's work out here advertising for me. Thank you. <laughs> to the kids who just came by and dropped these off for us. Thank you, you're so kind. So I'm noticing people aren't looking straight up, so they don't see my shirt, I'm wondering, and they're not selling. They can be kind of sad. Hopefully people will buy them towards the end. Hello! Yeah, at the moment, sales are not bad, but they're definitely not what they've been in the past, um, especially September 2023. The show was like, at the time, one of my better single day shows, so. My hopes were kind of high, and it's not being mad, not being sad. Still a good time, still profit, just not meeting expectations. <laughs> 
I'm also just like wildly tired. Like I went through this coffee so fast. I typically don't finish my coffees, but I'm like so freaking tired. I just, oof. Elevation worship was not a mistake, but how I feel is definitely a mistake right now. <laughs> Please come and buy for me to make it all worth it. Slower convention means more time to talk. Look at this face tracking. <laughs> It's been slower. We finally hit a certain mark that's like kind low key, kind of like my minimum. I've got like how much I like to make in a day where I'm satisfied. And then about half of that is like how much I'll tolerate for an event before I'm like losing my temper, I guess. And I'm that's where I am right now. We're making profit, but it's just like, girl, I am so tired. I was hoping to make more money than this. But at the same time, I'm just like, I'm just happy to make any money because we spent a lot this month. My gosh, this always happens whenever I have like my best financial month, which was August. It's always followed by like the most expensive months ever. I had to drop so much for different conventions, both anime Pasadena and Awa in Atlanta. I had to drop so much money just for those. And then I dropped some more money today for anime Los Angeles applications. So it's just been rougher. So I'll take any profit at this point, even when it's not quite as much as I would like to make in a single day. It's fine. Sometimes I think I'm too much of an overachiever and I need to be okay with just achieving and not overachieving every time. <laughs> Let's recap anime Los Angeles. So I was fortunate enough to catch a booth. Me and my, my neighbor, actually, we were both... <laughs> We both stopped during setup this morning just to apply and we both got in, but I heard applications ended at about seven minutes in. I don't think people were expecting it to go that fast and there's so, oh my gosh, there's so much tea going around right now. So many people disappointed or angry, even accusing ALA of opening it too early for certain people, which they're saying is not the case on their Instagram. So all we can do is go by what they say. During these slower moments, I'm doing some research on hotels in the Long Beach area. I might have found one, but if anyone has any recommendations Feel free to drop them in the comments. Oh, look who's made his way here. Hello. He was just texting me about the wrestling matches that they have here. What do you think about the wrestling? Mm, boring. What? I thought you said you liked it. I thought it was funny. Oh, I love the wrestling matches here. I think they're great. I'm going to do a little bit more research into hotels and keep you guys updated. Honestly, there's, there's not too much to update on. It's fine. <laughs> Quick overview on how things are selling. Best seller by far has been our mystery bags. My gosh, I the box I brought over here was full, all empty. This is all that I have left here. I thought this was gonna be enough for the next event too. I'm gonna have to make a ton more. Yeah. Lodi Compound likes her mystery bags. We're in the last 30 minutes. She's dead, dead. Typically, the last hour of Lodi Comic Con is just their like cosplay costume contest, so Artist Alley is gonna be a wasteland. A wasteland? What am I thinking? It's gonna be a desert. It's gonna be empty, is what I'm trying to say. It's 4.30, we're gonna start packing up. My parents ordered buckhorn, so we're going to their place for dinner. Overall, it ended up being okay. We did just like a tiny bit less than what I did at the spring show, and definitely not close to what I've done the fall show a year ago. The show has really good potential, I think, um, especially if you're new to it, like if it's your first ever. Otherwise, nice and solid. I'll, honestly, I'll probably do it again. If I got nothing else going on, you're gonna find me here, basically. I do love the people here. I think people here are really great. And the artist athlete is super chill. It's just freaking hot, guys. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna pack up. I'll check in with you guys for dinner, I guess. Well, you gotta let it detect you first, Dad. <laughs> okay, now move. Ooh. <laughs> This is gonna go in the vlog now, Dad. It's recording. <laughs> Let's see. Nicole. Hi, Danny. <laughs> And welcome to the recap and review portion of the video where we recap and review the event, Lodi Comic Con Fall 2024. Typically you're gonna find me like in my living room for this portion, but quite frankly, I don't have too much more to say than what I've already said in the video. So we're just gonna do it right here while I'm editing. Lodi Comic Con is a single day event hosted by the same people who do the Stockton Con events. And in total, these events meet four times a year. You've got Stockton Con winter and summer, and those events are two days. Then you've got Lodi Comic Con spring and fall, 
and those ones are single day. These events do tend to be on the smaller side, but they have a very loyal following. And there is a lot of overlap in audience between the SAC anime shows and the Stockton and Lodi con shows. Despite being on the smaller side, I have found success at this particular event. Stockton con a little bit less so, although I am curious to try the winter show eventually. But the Lodi Comic Con shows have always been at best, a really great single day event, and at worst, solid. I've done this event a total of three times now, Lodi Comic Con Fall in 2023, and then both of their shows in 2024. And the fall show, I made a number that at the time was the most I'd ever done at a single day event because I had just introduced apparel around that time. Now, that is about minimum of what I would like to make in a single day. And since coming back to Lodi Comic Con, I haven't quite reached that number again. It's like just a little bit short of what is ideal for me, but also at the same time, just enough to kind of keep tempting me to come back. <laughs> this show is so easy. Like a lot of you guys, if you follow my vlogs, you know I do a lot of outdoor events. So like a 10 by 10 setup with a canopy, bring your own everything is a lot more work than, you know, going to a con where they provide you the table and the chairs and literally all of the things I needed to bring fit in a wagon and two suitcases. And that just like blows my mind because that's so little. Part of me wonders if the reason why I did so well at Lodi Comic Con Fall in 2023 is because that was my first time ever at a Lodi Comic Con show. And then now that I am more of a familiar face, this new number that I've made both times this year, which I checked the spring numbers and I ended up doing, I think like exactly the same. I think there's literally like a $10 difference, but I think this new number that I've made twice now, this is probably about standard of what I can expect of this show now that people are familiar with me. That being said, it is a number that is so close to my minimum paired with the fact that it is such an easy show that I'm kind of like, why not do it? Especially if there is nothing else going on. And like I mentioned earlier, it is a more high expense kind of month. So, you know, any change is helpful. I do think this event is fantastic. If you are first off local, I wouldn't travel more than an hour for this show, to be honest. And then if you especially are a beginner or if you're newer to the artist alley scene, you're just looking to grow your repertoire, your experience while making a good chunk of money at the same time. I think this is a fantastic beginner show. And if you are not a beginner, I think this is a good filler show. That's how I feel about it. If you've got nothing else going on that weekend and you're looking to fill up your roster for the month, like why the heck not? People are nice, you're gonna make a good chunk of money and you're gonna have a good time doing it. So overall, I would rate this event. Now that I've done it three times, when I first did it, I gave it like five out of five. I thought it was perfect. Came back in the spring, was a little disappointed. Now I'm starting to realize what I can actually expect from this show. I would give it a solid like 3.9 out of five. I don't typically dabble in the point numbers, but I, I don't feel like it's like a four out of five because it's just like, that's just a tiny bit too much. So we're gonna go 3.9 because three out of five also feels a little too low. It's um just enough to keep tempting me to come back but it's never gonna like blow away my expectations. At least I don't think it will. But yeah, still really great. I am curious to try the Stockton Con Winter Show. It does overlap with some other conventions that I'm interested in though. So make sure that you're following me on my social media platforms and my YouTube to know my schedules. I do include all of my in-person events in a link in the description box if you're curious and shopping with me in person. As I'm filming this, it is the last day of September and we are officially moving into October and really the last quarter of the year, which tends to be a little hectic in the best ways possible for us businesses. So a couple things you can expect from me in the next coming months are a few Filipino festival event in honor of Filipino American History Month, a few local conventions, including events like Anime Impulse Bay Area, a few not so local conventions, and quite frankly, just a lot more chaos, which is very on brand for me. So I hope that you will be following along. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you are notified about this kind of content very regularly. Regularly. I make videos every Friday at 9 a.m. So I hope to see you there at the next one. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to shop with me online, you can make sure to check out the link in my description for that. Or if you want to shop with me in person, the link in the description will take you to a list of events I've got. I'm so excited for everything else going on and I hope that you'll join along with the journey. Thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know where this ruler came from. I've literally never seen it before in my life. I've never seen Cody use it before in his life. So it's one of two things. Either he has like a secret ruler stash or I'm hallucinating this and there's not really a ruler in my hands.